For years, many people viewed CNN as standing for the Clinton Narcissism Network, since it appeared Hill and Bill could do no wrong in their eyes, and MSNBC standing for many sycophant newscasters behind Clinton. But a strange thing happened on the way to the 2016 Hillary Clinton victory party. Public polls have abruptly turned horrendously poor for Hillary. So bad, in fact, that even CNN has to come clean and admit her numbers are less than stellar. According to the latest CNN public opinion poll, the whopping majority of Americans find Hillary Clinton to be not honest or trustworthy. Hillary's currently polling at a 57% level of untrustworthiness. This is considerably higher than a 49% level in March of 2015. This is a far cry from her many consecutive years of winning the vote for most admired woman in America. And at the rate Hillary Clinton is plummeting, even her projected two or three billion dollar war chest may not be enough to put her over the top. So what are her options? She can't do anything heroic in office since she no longer holds public office. There is nothing positive that is memorable during her term as New York U.S. Senator or as Secretary of State. Only one debacle after another, not the least of which was Benghazi. Short of catching herself on fire in a terrorist camp as a target for U.S. bombers, it's hard to say what she should do. She's not very likable, and she doesn't seem to like people, and she hates anyone questioning her. It kind of makes you wonder. Other than feeling she's entitled to the throne, why is she even running? I have a theory about Hillary Clinton's real game plan. She may simply be raising as much money as she can before announcing she's quitting the campaign to spend more time with her family. What most people don't know is that under current election law, a candidate gets to keep all the money they raise. Ladies and gentlemen, meet the newest billionaire in America, Hillary Rodham Clinton. She may never be a U.S. president, but she can forevermore be the rich queen maker behind the scenes, wielding even more power than a president from behind the throne.